Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, for those of you who've been geeking out on this channel for a while now, you will know that about 90% of what we talk about here is oftentimes bad news, whether it is what the Biden administration, what the ATF, or what your state legislator is doing to strip you of your constitutionally guaranteed rights, the stories of bad things happening to us never seem to come to an end. But occasionally, just occasionally, we get some encouraging news. And when we do, we want to share that with you as fast as humanly possible. I think that we got some really encouraging news coming out of the Southern District of California down in San Diego, and I think it could have a radical effect on a lot of things related to your Second Amendment rights. So today, Let's spend a few minutes and I'll get you up to speed on, is a huge wave about to come crashing down on gun control? Okay, so the issue we're talking about today is four separate cases, which are all consolidated down before the Honorable Roger T. Benitez, Southern District of California in San Diego. As you will recall, Judge Benitez authored the original opinion in a case called Duncan v. Becerra. It's now called Duncan v. Bonta. That was the, ca the case that originally threw out California's high-capacity magazine ban as being unconstitutional. That that was ultimately upheld by a three-judge panel of the Ninth Circuit and then flipped by a full-judge panel of the Ninth Circuit, sent up to the United States Supreme Court, where it was GVR granted, vacated, and remanded back down to the Ninth Circuit, who then punted it all the way back down to Judge Benitez for further findings. Now, in addition to that case, which deals with magazine bans, okay, there's three other cases, and, and they're really all very important, okay? There's a case called Miller v. Bonta. That deals with California's assault weapon ban. So you got Miller v. Bonta dealing with the assault weapon ban. You have Duncan v. Bonta dealing with the magazine ban. You have a case called Road v. Bonta. California actually requires you to go through a background check before you buy ammunition. Did not know that until I started reading this case. California, you guys are crazy. That challenges the Constitution of that. And then there's another case called Fouts v. Bonta has nothing to do with firearms, but has to deal with the uh, possession of other dangerous weapons such as billy clubs. Now, these cases have been ricocheting around, and of course the government has been asking for more and more time as they scrape around trying to come up with some argument as to how these statutes and regulations are still constitutionally permissible. And of course, under the new one-part test, which, which is simply do we look at the activity and determine is that covered by the text of the Second Amendment, if the answer is yes, then unless there is a historical analog going way back to the formation of our country that justified this type of restriction, then the piece of legislation is per se unconstitutional. Now, I think Judge Benitez, who uh, here likes to cut to the chase, may be cutting to the chase, and this is what I want all of you to be aware of. What Judge Benitez is ordering in all four of these cases, and then what the governor of California has to say, tells us that I think that bad days are ahead for those advancing these gun control measures. I think that the magazine bans that we're seeing in a lot of jurisdictions, I see the assault weapon bans that we currently see in some jurisdictions and we're seeing bantered about in state legislatures all around the country, including right here in my own backyard of Washington, I think that those days may be numbered. Here is what Judge Benitez has done. What Judge Benitez has done is he has issued what's called a minute order in each case. And a minute order is basically, it's a docket entry and there have been filings that have been sent out to the parties consistent with that. And it's basically, it's the court saying, hey, I want something done on this case. I want you to listen to what Judge Benitez said in each one of these, because I think we can begin to read between the tea leaves here, okay? Because in Miller v. Bonta, this is the assault weapon ban, the docket entry from Judge Benitez, the minute order read, read as follows. The state defendants are directed to file a brief, which identifies the best historical regulation that is a proper analog and relevantly similar to a statewide prohibition on the possession of firearms with listed features. The brief shall be limited to five pages and shall be filed with the brief currently due 30 days after the filing of the law list. So you can see what the judge is saying to the defendants here, the state of California, is why don't you guys just see if you can even come up with any historical analog. I'll give you five pages to do it to, that would justify this assault weapon ban. Now, 
on the magazine ban, this is what Judge Benitez has ordered. The state defendants are directed to file a brief which identifies the best historical regulation that is a proper analog and relevantly similar to a statewide prohibition on possession of ammunition device or a limit on an amount of ammunition. The brief shall be limited to five pages and shall be filed with the brief currently due 30 days after the filing of the law list. Okay, and then in Road v. Blanta, which is California's law that requires a background check before you buy a box of ammunition, absolutely crazy, but this is what the judge ordered there, that the defendants are directed to file a brief which identifies the best historical regulation that is a proper analog or relevantly similar to a statewide background check for buying ammunition. The brief shall be limited to five pages and shall be filed with the brief currently due 30 days after the filing of the law list. And then in Fouts v. Bonta, the case dealing with billy clubs, you can imagine what the judge did there. Judge Benitez again ordered, hey, I've given you 30 days. Come up with a five-page brief. You explain to me the best historical analog that actually justifies this. Now, this is an argument that we have seen the state prosecutors and federal prosecutors all around the country fail at time and time and time again because simply... Well, there is no historical analog to justify any of these regulations. Now, Governor Gavin Newsom, no friend of the Second Amendment. Um, the other day, doing a press conference in which he had to have a little tissy fit about the Fifth Circuit's ruling as it relates to domestic abusers. We covered that on this video right here. When he was whining in front of the cameras, he said some other things that I think we ought to take uh, note of, because this is his quote. Wake up, America. This assault on our safety will only accelerate. This is serious, and it's coming to California. We are probably only weeks away from another activist judge, Judge Roger Benitez, striking down California's ban on assault weapons and large-capacity magazines. California will continue to fight against these extremist judges to protect our residents' rights to be free from gun violence. So... Gavin Newsom is predicting that within the next few weeks, Judge Benitez will be striking down California's assault weapon ban as well as their high-capacity magazine ban. And that is what, according to the governor, is an extremist judge. So in the state of California, when a judicial officer who is sworn to uphold the Constitution actually upholds the Constitution and gives every word its exact meaning... In the eyes of the governor of the state of California, that is an extremist judge. So the bottom line is this. When we are trying to read between the tea leaves, trying to figure out what's going on, when we see what Judge Benitez is doing, when we see the comments of Governor Gavin Newsom, I think it is very clear that the clock is ticking on some of these gun control measures and that there is likely a very, very large wave about to come crashing down on all of these pieces of legislation. Listen, in the meantime, you may have more questions about this or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights. And if you do, remember, you can always contact us at WashingtonGunLaw.com or you can call us directly at 425-765-0487. Now, in the meantime, let's remember, part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here at Washington Gun Law, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay safe. <laughs>